Hello, nerds. Welcome to the Post Credit Show, your new favorite pop culture podcast. I'm your host, Loosh. I got my boy Brody, and I got a little yeah. secret to tell you guys. This is the second time we're recording this episode. <laughs> Someone yeah. forgot to press record, and it wasn't that guy. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. No, I'm gonna have to do. It. From now on, I was just saying. Now on, I'm gonna have to check with you. I'm gonna have to say, Luke, have you press record on this? Have did you, you press the big did red you, button? Did, uh, yeah. Did you press? <laughs> did you press the only button that was gonna make this podcast a podcast? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I feel like an absolute flog. But here we are. Oh, well. Here we are, bro. What a weekend! What a weekend! What a weekend! What did you do yesterday? Big news. Big news. Um. Deadpool Wolverine. Holy shit. Uh, Mind blown. Mind I blown. have... I, yeah, look. Um, incredible movie. We are going to do a spoiler-free quick yep. recap of that movie yep. later on in this episode. Yes. Um, but I can I can now safely say that I have seen the movie twice. So uh, that, I went and saw it as a fan, and then yep. I went and saw it as a critic. I should have done that. Um, I have got so many notes to go through, but we will get through to that in just a moment because... Mm. Oh boy, Kamikaze. was it a big day in San Diego oh, today? Comic Con. So I cannot believe. Bro. I know you, you know how there are like moments in history where yeah. you know exactly where you were when yeah. something happened. Yeah. My reaction and my location. I knew exactly. I will remember forever my exact location. <laughs> when the what I was doing. Out. When I found out that Robert Downey uh, Jr. is back. As who? Doctor Doom. Uh, Victor Von Doom is coming uh, to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it was announced today at San Diego Comic Con that the actor playing Robert Downey Jr. The actor playing Victor Von Doom is yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Holy crap. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like I said, we've recorded this episode twice. So my brain is back in the other episode. Uh, that's going to the cutting room floor. But anyway... Um, Look, aside from them announcing that Robert Downey Jr. is back, yep. they also announced that the Dream Team is back to the get together to, yeah. to helm the next two Avengers movies, mm. being the Russo brothers directing Avengers Doom Day and Avengers Secret Wars, yep. with Stephen McFeely, the writer yeah. of Endgame and Infinity War, also returning. So, like, yep. this is this is the billion-dollar box office Dream Team. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. the last time this group of four men got together and did something, biggest box office it was the biggest box office comic book movie ever made. Absolutely. And still, I think, the, the second highest grossing film yep. of all time. Yep. So, like, this is huge news for Marvel. This is a massive, massive move. I think this move... I believe that this movie is extremely transparent. I think Marvel are looking at the fact that they've had some good movies, some great movies, then an okay movie, then a great movie, then a, uh, and then a great movie. And obviously, you know, in that pattern, we've just had the, we, we've obviously got Deadpool and Wolverine that's just come out this week. Yeah. But then before that, we had the Marvels, which was a bit like, uh, okay. Um, so like, I, I genuinely think that this was Marvel going, okay, cool. We've got to pull ourselves out of the <laughs> here. We've got to blow some freaking minds. <laughs> and boy, did they. Boy, did they. Look, that wasn't all that was announced, though. There was so much more that was announced at, at, at San Diego Comic-Con this year, including uh, a trailer for um, for the next Captain America movie, Brave yeah. New World, with yeah. Harrison Ford as the Red, Red Hulk. Hulk. And Harrison Ford, who... Let's not forget that Harrison Ford is not a young man anymore. <laughs> but he got up on stage and hulked out yeah. like a... Oh, my God. Like this, I'm watching this guy going crazy. I'm like, man, that... Him doing that, if that was me, yeah. it would give me head spins. <laughs> I went to the State of Origin a couple of weeks ago here in yeah, Melbourne at yeah, the MCG. Yeah, yeah. And I remember when New South Wales scored that try that <laughs> sealed the game. And I jumped yeah. up and I'm like, whoa! Yeah. And I remember sitting back down going, whoa, oh, oh my head hurts. <laughs> oh, no. And here's this man who's nearly double my age getting up and hulking out like that. I'm just like, you know what? More power to you, Harrison Ford. I'm stupid. Doped that he's come in to play uh, Captain, um, uh, sorry, General General Ross, yeah, yeah, yeah. the the Red Hulk. Yeah. What a movie that's going to be! I can't wait. I'm okay for it. I'm, I'm so gay okay for it. I can't wait, especially now knowing that Giancarlo Esposito from The Boys and from um, from Breaking Bad is going to be going to be playing uh, the King of the Serpent Society, aka yes, Sidewinder. 
Like that's True. that's so cool. That's so cool. Um, Thunderbolts also got their first trailer this weekend, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see that. Fantastic Four. Yeah, the new Fantastic Four. The new Four. Fantastic Four movie actually got its full title. So it's the Fantastic Four First Steps. Yeah. So it's based in the in the 60s, which yeah. is really interesting. Yeah. Um, I, like, weirdly enough, I believe that that Fantastic Four movie is coming out the same month in 2026 yep. as the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, which also features Daddy Pedro Pascal. Yeah, that's that's going to be that's Pedro be Pascal it. month. Yeah, May 2026 is going to be officially known as Pedro, Pedro Pascal month. Remember when uh, the, the Rock had his like little phase? Like The Rock had all these oh, movies coming out. All these movies, like yeah, The like, Tooth Fairy. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not, not that far back. Maybe not that you far back. You that movie, but, didn't you? <laughs> that was a funny movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but he like, you know, obviously like... Um, Jumanji, Skyscraper. Oh, like all man. these movies like coming up. Skyscraper. Back to back. I love Skyscraper. That was such a good movie. It remember, was. I don't know if you ever remember, like, you probably don't because you're Gen Z. I'm Gen, I don't even know what Gen I am at this point. <laughs> um, but there was this phase where disaster movies were big. Like the end of the world movies, like the day after tomorrow. Oh. Like th there were so many end of the world movies that came out and then like, they just stopped. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think humans are done with the existential threat movie now. Yeah, all these like like yeah, yeah, yeah. there's enough crap going on in our world right now that <laughs> I don't really like, want to think about. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but look, uh, Avengers Secret Wars got a new logo. The new Avengers, uh, the, the, the 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 Avengers five and six has has been rebranded, renamed. Yep. Uh, it is confirmed that Marvel are now moving on from the Jonathan Majors Kang Dynasty, which is really really unfair. I, I think I'm 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 really disappointed by that. Yeah. Um, I thought Jonathan Majors is a phenomenal actor. I thought the the threat, the looming threat of Kang and and the, the the number of Kangs and the different variants and and the storytelling devices that they could have used to really kind of bring that character to life. Yeah. It's really sad to see that that's now been pushed aside, but I tell you what man, if you are going to replace Kang the Conqueror with anyone Victor Von Doom played by Robert Downey oh, Jr is oh, the way to go. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Now, Absolutely. you're not a big fan of this move. <sighs> No. Tell me about it. <laughs> no, I'm not. Talk like, me through it. Because there are there yeah, are some Marvel got, Marvel fanboys yeah. who uh, you know, yeah. basement dwellers who are sitting yeah. there with their neck beards <laughs> yeah. talking about <laughs> <laughs> So talk to me. Yeah, no. Um obviously there are gonna be a lot of people who are listening and watching this going, What is this guy on? What, what 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 do you mean? What do you mean? Let me let me cook. <laughs> right, so obviously, you know, I had to talk to you about this before, but um, Obviously, it has been said that Iron Man does come back as Von Doom. But, I, I don't know, it's just, for some reason, I feel like because Robert Downey Jr. has played Iron Man for almost two decades now, mm -hmm. um, that his, you know, his, his, you know those actors that are just so fit for the role that that's all you see him as? You 100%. I mean? To the point and where where Marvel Comics literally changed the... Yeah. Look Absolutely. of Tony Stark yeah. to look more like Robert Downey Jr. Absolutely. So yeah. you know what I mean. So like, I think like me personally, like you know, I think if I would, if I see the new movie and you know see Robert Downey Jr. as Von Doom, it's just gonna make me feel like, but he's Iron Man. <laughs> he's not but Von is that, Doom. <laughs> but is that the storytelling device that they're trying to capitalize on though? Like not only Maybe, you, not only yeah, you, but yeah, yeah. is Spider Man going to recognize him as Iron Man? Yeah, like, and then the, the stories that that's going to open make, up. I don't know how this is going to make me feel though. Like, like a sure it would make like a great storyline. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I love nothing more than you know this this twist of a, a, a you know a good hero becoming a villain, turning to a villain. And then, what's the what's know, the saying from uh, Batman Begins? You either die the hero or live long enough to see yourself yeah. become the villain. That's dead. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what's happened here with RDJ. Exactly, that's it. So, like, you know, will will he come back around and be a hero again? We never know. Who knows? I mean, look, Doctor Doctor Doom in comic book lore does kind of flip and flop a little bit between yeah. being the anti-hero and being yeah. the villain. And, you know, like we what we do know and what was announced at um, San Diego Comic Con, and obviously we knew a few months ago as well because it's the, the part had been cast, mm. we do know that there is the looming threat of Galactus. Yes. 
Is Victor Von Doom going to help the Avengers? And if he is going to help the Avengers, remembering that Tony Stark was a foundation member of the Avengers, yeah. the storylines that that's going to open up with Thor, yeah. with with um, with Doctor Strange, yeah. with Captain America, you know, yeah. like uh, this weekend, Kevin Feige was really coy on whether or not we're going to see Chris Evans return as Captain America. That. If that happens, yeah. remembering Captain America doesn't die. No, no, it's just really, really, yeah, it's just a prune now. It's really old. <laughs> yeah, but there was a moment this weekend where you and I both thought they pulled the trigger on that. Yeah. And we were marking out in that moment. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, man. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But, like, do you think, like, when he does become Von Doom, and, you know, as we said before, like, like literally, like, a minute ago, how, you know, he will start being Stark, Stark again. Will he start using Stark Industries, like, tech and all that stuff? Bring, is he just going to be Stark again? Well, but see, this is the thing, though. This is the, and, and this is this is the element of the story, right? Fantastic Four is set in the 60s. That's pre Tony oh, Stark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's Howard. <laughs> that's Howard Stark, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So is 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 Howard Stark going to have a moment where he engages with Victor Von Doom? Like, is is Stark Tech and Doom Industries going to have? So you, oh. Like, bro, calling it, calling it, <laughs> bro. This is going to be huge. Yeah. This is going to be huge. And I'm, so I'm, many look, conspiracy theories. I've got to be really honest with you, right? Yeah. I love Marvel. I love the idea mm. of my childhood. I grew up reading these comic books. So yeah. I love the idea of seeing my childhood come to life in these movies, right? Yeah, absolutely. But there's been a bit of, I'm not going to call it comic book fatigue. I'm going to call okay. it, I'm just not so sure where things go. The multiverse has opened up so many possibilities, but like, where do they go next? Now I'm excited. I've got so many more questions, <laughs> and those questions have got me really excited about yeah. what comes next. Yeah, okay. And I think that's the key here. I think what Marvel have done in making this announcement is they've just busted everything wide open, mm. and they've gone, hey, anything's possible now. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. Oh, bro. So, <laughs> the conspiracy theories are going to go through the roof. Oh, it's crazy. This year, next year. I, I, can't, I can't wait till twenty. And if you think if you think of the hype leading into Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah. How many cameos are there going to be? Are we going to see this person return? Is that person coming back? Is that per like I don't even, I don't want to mention names that were rumored because yeah. some of that might be spoiler alert. Spoilers. Yeah. That's it. Did you um did you actually sorry, on a bit of a side note, did you see that uh the Wolverine and Deadpool actually got a world record? A Guinness yes. world record? Like yeah, for the most, most views in like a week? No, it was it was is the it, the that? first trailer yeah, yeah, and it was the most views across all social media platforms yeah. in the first twenty four hours of its oh, release. Oh, sorry, not a week. Yeah, twenty four hours. It was like one hundred and thirty something. Oh, three hundred. No, 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 three hundred. It was whatever it was. Whatever the number was, it was. It was absolutely insane. nuts. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Um, look, I, I, you know, it's it's definitely Marvel's week. Oh, Everything that has happened far. in the Marvel Absolutely. Cinematic Universe has all led up to this yeah. moment, and Marvel yeah. have just blown minds across the universe. That mm. it's just it's just crazy. Absolutely, absolutely, bloody, bloody, <laughs> bloody. <laughs> Let's f go. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, there are a whole bunch of other announcements that were made as well, including yep. a whole bunch of TV series that Marvel is working on, including a Wakanda spin-off series. Oh. Uh, we've got a Wonder Man series coming up, which I'm not so sure how I feel about. We've mm. got What If Season 3, which yeah. have you seen What If Season 1 and 2? Oh, yeah. some Amazing. Homework. Some homework. Amazing. Yeah, yeah homework. <laughs> okay. um, friendly Neighbourhood Spider-Man series coming up as well, which should be interesting. Is, it, um, is that still Tom? We don't know. We don't know. They didn't give us too much information. Um, but and and this was a this was a really fun one to hear that they were still developing. That's nearly here. Marvel Zombies. Yeah. Now this we weekend, and we're not going to spoil anything for you, but this <laughs> weekend we got a little preview yeah. of what that might look like. Yeah. We'll talk about that next week yeah. once you've seen Deadpool and Wolverine. But that's it. If it has any, if it looks anything like what we saw this weekend, I'm yeah. here for it. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Same there's a lot of there's a there's lot, a of, lot news. of stuff. A lot of stuff. There was a lot of news. Everyone's going to be talking about man. Like, but hey, look, that's 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 pretty much all we wanted to talk about with San Diego Comic Con. So much. that's all. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot. There's so much there, but that is a lot. Um, yeah. 
Man, let's talk about the big moment this weekend. The release of oh. Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's. I know I turn everything into a joke, but I care. And I want to use that for something important. I waited a long time for this team up. Oh my God. So what did you think? <laughs> Look, no, no, okay, okay, no. I, I loved it. Yep. Great, great, great film. Yep. Been waiting for it for ages since one and two. Yep. Um, But? But I'm not a huge fan. Like, obviously, Dead, it wouldn't be, really be a Deadpool movie without all those you know, references and stuff like that. And but, the fourth wall break. Yeah, yeah, and the fourth wall break. I just think in this one particularly, there was a bit too much of it. Yeah, okay. And when I say too much, I mean it's too... Because they... Oh, okay. <laughs> How can I say this without... <laughs> Don't ruin anything yet. No, 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 no. But I just feel like, you know, and, and what, once you guys go watch it, I, I f hopefully you'll kind of understand. Um, if not, then cool. Um, but, you know, I feel like the amount of fourth wall breaks in relevant re references to reality, uh, I just I just wish they just dial it in. Well, the, the moment because the Deadpool kind of breaks character and says, oh, why are you touching me like that, Wolverine? I'm going to tell Blake. Yeah. Like, but, and and I will I will agree that there was a lot of fourth wall breaks. Yeah. Like, the movie opens with a fourth wall break. He's literally yeah, like singing Deadpool along to the Marvel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, you know, he's singing along to the Marvel yeah, overture yeah, yeah. as it kind of, uh, as the whole Marvel signature yeah, starts. The whole, um, yeah. Look, I, I, I do agree that there was a lot of it, but I just think that's Deadpool. Like that is so Deadpool, and if you if you've read any of the comic books, and you've obviously seen the first two movies, like that's just so Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know if referencing, you know, like so close to like the actors themselves. Like, sure, sure, do like other celebrities and stuff like that. Like, by, by all means, but like it was a little confusing you know I mean? when he was referencing Hugh Jackman. Yeah, because now, because now it's now they're not Wolverine and Deadpool. Now they're it's Hugh Jackman Hugh and Ryan, yep. Ryan Reynolds. Huge. Ackman. Huge Ackman, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my God, did yeah. he bulk up for this movie, though? Oh, my God. There yeah. was a scene at the end where I think <laughs> the straight like, men in the audience <laughs> were like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, no, I'm not going to spoil it, but, you know, like... The movie was pretty good. Look, uh, one, one of my favourite quotes from the movie... Yeah. And um, this isn't spoiling anything, but it was one of the very first lines that were said in the opening sequence and it was i'm not a man of science but you seem incredibly passed away <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that, wait. now i'm i'm no, not a man of science no but he's right <laughs> yeah yeah and like you know I, I love all that kind of stuff and you know obviously um the paul rudd reference yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah, love yeah, that yeah. one as well but um <laughs> yeah no it was great Look, I, I also think that the music in this movie was some of the best placed music that Marvel have done in the, yeah. in the MCU. Like, uh, obviously, like when you think about music in comic book movies, instantly my thoughts go to Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. The mixtapes for Guardians of the Galaxy have been oh. massive. Yeah, especially like the old, old, like, Dogs and stuff like that. that Easy, Tiger. Dancing. Easy. They're not that old. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> Older. <laughs> But um, uh, that's yeah, so no. 1990s. <laughs> like I think um, you know, with the, the whole like you know, Backstreet Boy, um, you know, so that was start. fantastic. Yeah, that I loved was fantastic. That. And he did the choreo to it. I yep. loved it. Um, and also, uh, also the brilliantly placed epic overture of "Like a Prayer" by Madonna. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was just spectacular. And and when they when they first kind of released the trailer with that song, I'm like, how does that play into the movie though? Like how how is that song "Like a Prayer"? Oh. He's Marvel Jesus. Yeah. Like a pr Okay, <laughs> I get it now. I'm Marvel um, Jesus. <laughs> but look, I, 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 I think it was just some of the best music in, in, in Marvel history, to be honest with you. I, I yeah? think some of the music that was chosen was just so brilliantly placed. Iconic moments. Yeah. That mo like that like a prayer moment, that Backstreet Boys moment. Yeah. Those two moments stick out to me. Absolutely. Because every time I hear those songs now, that's what I'm going to think about. Exactly. And I think that's like the the power behind the Deadpool movies. Like, it's yep. a, it's like every m song that's in that movie, it's sort of kind of a piss take. But at the same time, yep. you're going to look back at that. You're going to like, after watching that movie, once you hear that song next, you're going to think of Deadpool. Yep, 100%. <laughs> um, the only question that I have 
Yep. And, and this is going to be really difficult because, like, we all we, like we, we talk about you know whether or not oh Deadpool's going to be an Avenger, he's going to come into the MCU, yeah. and they do kind of reference a few things about that in 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 the film, which we won't go into in this episode. No, no, no. But how? You got to think about this for a second. Every time an Avengers movie comes out, there's Lego sets for the Avengers. When the Marvels came out, there's Lego sets. When the Eternals came out, there's Lego sets. When when uh, Doctor Strange comes out, there's Lego sets. But when Deadpool movies come out, there's no Lego sets because it's an R-rated movie. Yeah. There's McDonald's fuck. There's there's McDonald's um like toys. There's there's merchandising and branding opportunities yeah. that come along with these big budget films. Yeah. Which they can't really capitalize on when you put no. Deadpool into it. That's it. And you know, I think I think Deadpool is a a lone wolf. <laughs> he works. I think he works. Like obviously, you know, he wants to fight his place. And, you know, you know what I mean. But you know, I I don't think he needs a team. Mm. Like obviously, looking back, he's. Uh, I mean, he's had the X Force. Yeah, he's, he's not, not very, very good. He's not very good at uh, being a leader, let alone being in the group. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, I, honestly, I don't know, man. But yeah. It'll either be Marvel's rise or fall. <laughs> Look, the, the, the thing is, though, and this is this is what I'm going to be really curious about, and, and again, this is not spoiling anything. I promise that that's the next episode. But Mr. Paradox does yeah. have a line that he says to Deadpool, and the line is exactly, you have an important future to serve. Oh, yes. And we did see something that Deadpool saw on one of the TV screens in the TVA in this movie that kind of hinted at an important future yeah, to serve, which we're going to get to in the next... Look, you know what? I'm having a hard time talking about this movie without spoiling it. I know. So you know what? <laughs> Let's end it here. Okay, okay. Let's end it here. We're going to cut. We're going to go have like a billion drinks and then we're going to come back and we are going to spoil... <laughs> Everything for you. Everything. So don't watch the next episode until you've seen this is your Deadpool warning. and Wolverine. This is your warning. <laughs> and this is this is definitely a... A few moments later. Yeah. And we're back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, um, if you haven't gone and seen the movie, now's your chance. Next Sunday, tune in. We're going to release an episode where we talk about all of the insane things that happen in this movie. Mm. Until then, um, I've been Loosh. That's not been lucky. That's Brody. Right, right. I have to remember saying that. <laughs> um, <laughs> until then, tell your dad I'm on my way. See you guys. Deuces. <laughs>